Welcome. All right. Um, so it's important to understand that when doing factoring by the difference of two squares, you can use your traditional, uh, traditional factoring technique when a equals 1 or n a um, does not equal 1 to still factor with the difference of two squares. But it's also very helpful to kind of understand the pattern of factoring difference of two squares and then being able to apply that to uh, different types of problems. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So again, what the difference of two squares states is when I have a square term subtracted by another square term, I can rewrite that as the product of a plus b times a minus b. The reason being is when I multiply this out, a times a is a squared. Um, a times b is a positive ab. Or I'm sorry, a times negative b is a negative ab. a times b is a positive ab. And b times negative b is negative b squared. Well, a negative ab and a positive ab, those add to 0. So I'm just left with a squared minus b squared. All right. So that's why the difference of two squares works. But it only works when you have a square term minus a square term. And it's OK for these terms also have coefficients and so forth. And we'll kind of, I'll go through some examples on that. So let's just kind of go through a basic one. Let's say I had x squared minus 9. All right, we'll notice that this is a square term. And this can be written as a square term. And if you have confusion, try to see if you can do it. Well, I already know that that's x squared minus 9 is 3 squared. So therefore, I can write this as x minus 3 times x plus 3. All right. Now, a lot of times, students will also get confused um, if we start having like some coefficients. So let's say I now add 4x squared um, minus 25y squared. And I'd say, all right, well, you know, I got this, but then what do you do here? Well, again, you want to see you know, how can you rewrite this as squared terms. So 4x squared, I can rewrite as 2x squared. And 25y squared, I can rewrite as um, 5y, 5 squared. So therefore, you can see what are my terms that are being squared. My a, you could say, would be 2x. And my b is going to be 5y. So therefore, I can rewrite this as 2x minus 5y times 2x plus 5y. All right. But it doesn't even stop there. We don't always even have to look at difference of two squares when we have just the squared. It could also be two higher powers. So let's go and look at this. Let's just do, um, let's do, uh, um, oh, actually, that's a good idea. Let me, uh, I didn't think of this problem. So let's do 3, sorry, 3, um, no, let's not do 3, 2x squared. Um, plus 8y to the fourth. Now, initially, you might look at this and say, all right, well, x squared and y to the fourth, that might not look like it. But if I was going to do difference of two squares, you want to always want to see if you can factor out a GCF. So if I factor out a GCF, I factor out a 2. Now I'm left with x squared plus 4y to the fourth. And you still might say, well, how are you going to write y to the fourth? That's not a square term. Um, you're right, but I can rewrite it as a square term. So factoring out the 2, that's not going to worry about what we have. But let's write this as squared terms. So I have x squared plus 2. Well, how am I going to rewrite 4y to the fourth as a squared term? I can now write that as 2y squared squared. So therefore, you can see my difference of two squares now are going to be x minus 2y squared times x plus 2y squared. Okay. And lastly, just another one, just something uh, crazy with doing like some trigonometric terms. You know, let's say I just had sine uh, squared of x minus cosine squared of x. Well, again, ladies and gentlemen, remember that we can rewrite that as sine of x minus cosine of x times sine of x plus cosine of x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you apply factoring by the difference of two squares. Thanks.